Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. Today guys is the start of a new series now. Again this is going to run alongside with the Cardiff career, uh, not the Cardiff career mode sorry, the Newcastle career mode on FIFA 20 and also the Bradford one which I've got um, running um, which is obviously still going to be like maybe once a week uh, on the weekends for an extended uh, series. Um, but like I said uh, the other day I was a bit stuck with what to upload um, so I've decided to change up the um, what like what I want to upload so an FM save is what I'm going to start today uh, that doesn't mean the career mode like I said is going to go away it's just going to run alongside the career modes which we do have at the moment obviously the Newcastle one is the main one which I will be uploading um, so basically what I'm going to try and do is record as many episodes as I can uh, of each and have them running either uh, one day Newcastle, one day an FM save, uh, if not then we'll do it every other day um, but for now today is about the Blackpool FM save now I do play well I used to play a fair bit of FM uh, this on this football manager uh, I haven't played it in a couple of maybe I haven't played like a month or two um, but this does give me a chance to bring it back and take over at Blackpool um, now obviously this is kind of a road to glory style in terms of fm from like uh, what you would call in fifa and um, because obviously blackball once used to be in the premier league uh, many many years ago and to today we're going to start our journey of climbing back up the leagues and trying to get into the premier league now obviously i know um fm's a lot more in depth and uh it may take a while to get to the top depending on if we get promotion straight away for example obviously we're going to try and load a new tactics and stuff like that um so obviously while I'm going to like show show you all the basics of what we've got to offer, um, I'm just going to go through the basics for this first episode. Uh, this may be a long episode, but obviously um, that's what most episodes are, or the first episodes mostly are. Um, so what I've got here is um, obviously the squad here. I don't really know anyone, to be honest. Um, there may be a couple of players that I know just from looking at their, their like... Um, their pictures because obviously I've downloaded a load of face packs and also uh, I've got a different skin on as well uh, and badges so I will leave a description oh, I'll leave links in the description to the websites which I did use to get all of these things added to my game uh, if you are interested and if you like the look of anything then they will be in the description so as we were talking um, like I said I may not know some of the players uh, in this save uh, but like I said, it's something different, something which I really enjoy. I do really enjoy FM. Uh, so hopefully we can uh, make something of this series. Now, if you do enjoy today's video or you are excited for the series, make sure to do a like, comment your thoughts on the series. Um, let me know anything in terms of tactics, players to sign. I don't know what the finances are going to be like anyway. Um, just, just as a general like help, I guess, in the comment section on what to do. How to do things maybe if you see me have different tactics or maybe i need to change some things formation wise for example uh or just general general comments on what you think of the series idea um obviously this will be a lot of long series which hopefully i can last and actually enjoy playing um so obviously th these are just the normal steps you know uh that you do have in an fm save now, obviously, I'm going to make this, uh, I'm going to save it to the cloud just because I think it, it'll be easier just in case, you never know, my PC might crash and die on me. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Now, I do like the look of this new skin. Like I said, I'm going to put them in, in the description for you guys. Uh, I've never actually used any skins or face packs or logos, for example, uh, on any FM before. So it's going to be a bit different for me uh, to see. Um, so what we are going to do is uh look at our inbox to start with again a very basic thing which most people do blackpool hire barriers manager obviously um that's my name uh so obviously I've, just, I've just used my profile from my previous like offline saves which i do for my personal saves uh, i don't need to take any instructions uh the club vision so they want us to work towards a uh, work with the budget five-year plan so end of the current season they want a minimum of playoffs a minimum of the third round of the FA Cup and a reach the second round of the Carabao Cup. Now, that doesn't seem too much to ask. The playoffs is obviously going to be the main focus, I think, for now. End of season 2021, 20, win promotion to the Sky Bear Championship. So, okay, so even if we don't do it in the first season, they will still 
aim for us to win promotion in the next season. Oh no, this is this season, isn't it? Oh, okay, I've made a mistake. Anyway, uh, attempt to remain in the championship if we do get there in the following season. Then the season after that, remain. And then obviously, they okay, so they want us just to remain uh, in the championship once we get there. So again, this is going to be the pre-season preparation. David Dunn, our assistant. Uh, I'm going to go for a tactical. I'll, to be fair, from what I've played, I do like to try and be as tactical as I can in my obviously tactics and the way I have my manager set. Um, squad rules, we're just going to skip through most of this. Obviously, the transfer window is open. Or, yeah, it's open, but most of them aren't going to really affect us because I doubt we're going to have much. Um, I doubt we're going to have much transfer budgets to work with. I get, to be fair, it, I should have probably disabled the first window. Um, but anyway, we have got a load of things to do in terms of like uh, tactics, uh, the, the free kicks and all that. So what we're going to do, um, I'm going to go to... See, there's a lot of different things I can go with. Normally I go for this one, uh, the G-Gen press. I'm not sure if that's how you say it properly. Anyway, we are going to go with this. Now, this is something which I'm not sure what I want to go with. Do I want to go with that? Or do I want to go with that? I think I want to go with the 4-2-3-1. Um, just because it's quite a generic formation. It's quite easy to, to pick the players with. Now, obviously, what I'm going to do is go for the like the best players, I guess, in terms of the positions. Again, let me know down below in the comment section if I'm like playing people that wouldn't normally start for Blackpool, if you are a Blackpool fan. Uh, but there are a few different players which... Uh, do look all right in the positions that we've got. We've got husband at left back, uh, a ball winning midfielder, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Jay Spearing is probably the best to go there. We've got a box to box midfielder. Yes, we do. Happy days. We've got a, a winger. So we've got Sean Scannell there. We've got another attacking option. Um, is that Ka Kai Kai? It's a bit of a weird name. But anyway, um, going to add him into there. Connor Ronan. It's going to go in behind the striker and up top we have oh we actually have a few options here now, i'm pretty sure is gary maiden old i'm going to go with him for now um i don't know who that actually is unfortunately <laughs> i'm not very good with names or players so how long are you out injured for oh wow he's out for a while so we're gonna drop you in there we're gonna go by um order of like defense we're gonna put edwards there we're gonna put this guy in there Again, this is very. This this episode is gonna be very very basic uh, for you guys. We're gonna put Bowler there. I actually recognise that name uh, for some reason. Attacking mid left, we'll have another player in there. I uh, could do with a midfield centre. Uh, is there anyone? Oh, I can put a DM in there actually, uh, and then a striker. Striker. We'll go Maiden. Uh, so for now, that's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna keep the balance mentality for now uh, to start off with. I'm going to drop that down. We are going to have overlap on the wings. I do like to have the overlap on uh, from what I used to play. Attacking width, we're going to go a bit wider. Um, not going to have play for set pieces. Not going to, going to leave this for now. Uh, and I'm going to leave these as well. Uh, so we're going to head over to... Obviously, I have mixed crosses on. I'm going to go over to in transition. Now, uh, I just want to make sure that we've got that on. Take short kicks. Um, for now, I'll leave that. Uh, when possession has been won, we want to counter. When possession has been lost, we want to counter press or do we want to regroup? Now, normally, would I want to regroup or counter press? I think I'm going to go for regroup for now. Let me know in the comments down below which you would which would be better. Uh, like I said, uh, I'm not too sure what I want there. Anyway, we're going to move into this. Now, I like to play a higher line, which it has already got on there. Uh, defensive width. Do we want to play wide or do we want to play narrow? I'm going to play narrow uh, and we're going to... I don't want to go too far, um, and we're going to keep it like that for now. But that's actually the tactics done. Uh, I could obviously add another one for like a defensive or a really attacking one, but I think I'm just going to do that in game to be honest to save me uh, making it again. I probably will end up just going and uh, doing another one uh, for the time being though. That is everything set. Now obviously we've got the backgrounds here, uh, everything laid out nice there. Uh, I'm going to just go to the squad. There's a lot of players. Um, let me just check the finances as well. We go down to finances. So we have uh, a 50 grand transfer budget. So I don't think we're going to be making any signings anytime soon. So now what we're going to do, I do actually need to go to the staff and responsibilities, which is up here. 
and basically I need to make sure I'm not doing certain things or I'm doing things which I need to um, so handles team selections yep that's what I want to do see now the thing is with all of this hiring staff I don't really know what I want to do see that shouldn't be me uh, under 23s shouldn't be me I don't think and um, the scouting I'm gonna keep as me medical staff again I'm just gonna keep it all of these as me um, and then here I guess surely these ones aren't me but I'm gonna keep them as me um, so we're gonna confirm that again like I said it's gonna be a nice um, chilled out uh, episode uh, handle scouting meetings I don't think that's supposed to be me um, let me know in the comments if uh, I'm doing anything wrong here as well um, so we're gonna do the signings for me sales as well um, finding development loans for young players that's not for me uh, and uh, everything else should be sweet there uh, media now obviously I should be on everything there oh wrong thing training now obviously that's the assistant and that's the assistant as well confirm and now I'm pretty sure we need to go to the tactics um, which one is it provides also instruction no I want that to be my assistant and then also assistant as well so that should be that and then match now for me personally I, I like to do the preseason friendlies for the um, for the assistant and then obviously I'll just simulate through uh, as we go uh, leads team talks yep yep yeah that should be sweet and we confirm that and that should be everything there uh, all good and well so what we're gonna do now is obviously we've got our team tactics done uh, if we go to the calendar where is the calendar I've lost the calendar I've actually lost the calendar um, I guess we'll go to the fixtures then so we've got friendlies we've got one two three four five five friendlies before we start the league in the third or the third of the eighth in 2019 against Bristol Rovers so what we're going to do we're going to gradually just uh, go through each of our um, pre-season games like I said the assistant will take them but I will record and we'll look through the highlights well not the highlights we'll look through the uh, stats of the games so I'm going to jump into the first game which I will sim up to off camera uh simulate it when we're there and see how we get on so i'll be right back all right then guys just before we get into the game against the under 23s uh, there's a press conference uh to meet the media for the first time uh, what are your initial thoughts on taking the blackpool job now normally i normally skip the, re the, the top of the bit and don't read it um, but i'm gonna say getting look i'm looking forward to working and uh, what attracted you to blackpool um this is a massive club that would appeal to anyone that they're built for success did you have any reservation um, reservations about taking the job? Um, I'll just say I jumped at the chance. To be honest, it's not every day you get the opportunity to become uh, to come to a club like Blackpool. Uh, I have ambitions. This is just the beginning for me. Uh, I'm very happy here. The club matches my talents and ambitions. I'll say that. Does the squad have the necessary quality to achieve your targets? Uh, let's just let's just try and be nice as possible to, uh, uh, to the club and the players. Oh, yeah, they're excited for a fresh start. What role can supporters play in moving the club forwards? Uh, I always say the fans will play a massive part because they will. Uh, and that's the end of the press conference. Pretty quick one. Obviously, I did answer pretty quickly. Um, anyway, first game against the under-23s. Can we make sure we get a win and not mess up and lose our first game against the under-23s? Now, I'm hoping we can get a solid win from this game. And we do win 3-1. So, we click here. Uh, I go back we go back to here okay so uh, we did that end up winning 3-1 Taylor Moore uh, Kai Kai and uh, Lone Dens Lone Dens Lone Dens Lone Dens there we go got that right in the end so we kept the possession which I really like to see a lot of shots as well um, so a great start for Blackpool let's jump into the next preseason game Right then, guys, moving on into the next game of the preseason against a team called Lan. Uh, I'm not sure if you actually if that's how you pronounce it, to be honest. Um, we are going to just check um, before we go into the game. I was going to check what they're... I don't really know where they're from. Uh, I think they're a really, really lower league team. Um, obviously, got the fitness test for the Sun players. Um, I, I did have to make a couple of subs just to um, make sure uh, we had a full, fully fit squad for this game. Uh, I'm not too sure what we're coming up against. Like I said, uh, we'll have a look at the, the game after we actually finish it. Now, obviously, this is a large database, so it may take a while to load up some stuff. Anyway, we do win 2-1. Uh, 
Um, if we do go into, if we want, do I want to, so if I can get the goals up, so I can, this is what I'm going to do, um, the pre-season games, I'm just going to get up the uh, goals at the end of the game, uh, just to give you guys uh, a view of them, obviously it just makes it, it's better than just sitting through the whole game, so we've got a spearing penalty, which goes into the bottom corner, you love to see it, uh, I'm going to boost up the match speed a little bit, uh, I do like to play it on a bit quicker, um, a lovely back post header for more, and I think the goal for them was a from a free. Oh wow, it was a free kick into the top corner. Um, very nice goal from them. And we look at the stats, and um, we got a red card as well, which is not great to see. Um, do, is there a way for us to actually look at this, the stats properly? Uh, no. So yeah, we had a, a lot of possession, which I really like to see. Uh, like I said, I do like to have my teams playing a lot of possession. Uh, we had a lot of shots as well. Anyway. I'm going to move on into the next preseason game of the episode. Right then, guys, as you can see on the screen, now I was looking at some low knee players uh, just to try and bring in a bit of. Um, try and bring some. I, I just guess bring in some players. Um, this uh, Markello guy from uh, Everton, 20 year old midfielder from Holland, he's got a lot of pros. Um, he does rank into the top five for us in a ball winning midfielder. Now, because he is young, I, I am tempted to make an offer uh, for a loan offer, obviously. Um, again, so we're going to just go for that. I don't know if that's what they want. Okay, that's fine. So what we do, 10% of his play. Okay, that's perfect for us because that means we can literally just um, pay very next to nothing for him to come in. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the suggested squad. Um, to allow players to rotate for fitness for the next game, which is against um, uh, Glenon, Glenvion or something like that. I've never heard of them before again. So we're going to bring in uh, him for the team. Again, a lot of these emails are not really uh, anything I need to worry about. Um, again, is that a player injured for us? That's a bit annoying. Um, I do like the way this um, this skin is looking, to be fair. It does look really nice. Um, so we've got a loney coming in. So this is the pre-season report for Bristol Rovers. Oh, this is the this is the first league game, isn't it? Um, okay, so there's a bit quite a lot of uh, in-depth stuff here, which again, not too sure what we need to be looking at to be honest. Uh, normally I'll just skip through that and ignore that. Uh, but anyway, we do move. On. Do I get that player? Is he in or not? I don't think he is. Um, I thought, oh, this guy, Ronan, Ronan is uh, injured. Am I going to have to play Del Delfonso out of position? I think I am, uh, unfortunately. Okay, so we didn't actually get that low knee in just yet. Um, we've got another preseason game, like I said, against a Glen Avon. Glen, <laughs> Glen Navon. Again, never heard of them, so I'm probably butchering that name completely. Hopefully we can pick up a win here. Uh, and what was the score for that game? We did win 2 0. Let's go. Kai Kai. And I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. I'm really sorry. Uh, Nan. Nan Dulet. Oh my god, that's uh, completely wrong. That's definitely wrong. Anyway, um, happy with that. So we're going to move on to the next game. Walsall is the next friendly game we've got. Um, this guy coming in is a, a free signing from Liverpool. Uh, a young prospect which um, again these are the ones which I'm not too sure like these guys are making signings for me well not for me for the under 18s and under 23s uh, I'm not too sure if I'm supposed to be letting them do that because I don't I'm pretty sure that brings our budget down uh, anyway we're gonna move on like I said rotate the squad as much as we can all these preseason games and there you go this is gonna be the first signing of the Blackpool um, football manager save I was going to say Road to Glory. I guess you could call it a Road to Glory. We're going to bring him in. Hopefully, he can do the business for us in the midfield. Like I said, it's more of a rotational signing uh, more than anything else. A young prospect. Obviously, he's got that potential, which does look good. Again, I need to decide the squad. Now, Grant is the only one that is unregistered for some reason. I don't know who that is. Where is he? Grant Ward. Where's Grant Ward? He's injured. Okay, he's injured for like three to five months. Should I put him in anyway? Just in case, you never know, he might come back. Um, again, uh, that, I'm guessing that's the reason why he was not registered. 
Uh, oh wow, we've got another injury there. That's not great. You don't really want to be seeing that. Um, so let's see. Sky League One promotion odds. So Sunderland are title favourites. Where are we? We're sat fourth for seven to one for the uh, promotion odds. I would take that. I'm, I'm obviously a bit. I'm not. I wouldn't call myself a noob at this game, but I'm not as good as all the other FM YouTubers you see out there. Um, obviously, there's a load of good ones. Um, we have to submit our squad numbers again. I just do what they've they've obviously got already. Auto number that. Pretty sure that's just the same. Anyway, we're going to move on into the next preseason game. We have a we've had a decent start to the preseason. Uh, Walsall now. Again, I'm, I'm not sure what league they're in. Are they in the league below or are they in the our league? I'm pretty sure they're league below, league two. I correct me if I'm wrong. And we absolutely hammer them with a 4-1 win. Um, Kieran Dewsbury Hall uh, getting the man of the match there with a nine match rating. Teddy Howe, Fawn, Fawn, no, Fawn, oh my God, I've said that wrong. Fawn Eiley, Maiden and Husband getting the goals. Let's actually, um, oh, match report. There we go. That's what I'm supposed to be looking at uh, at the end of each game. Anyway, we're going to view the highlights, view the goals uh, against Walsall. Again, 4 1. I'll take that as a very, very good start. I know obviously it's pre season, it's very early. Um, obviously, we've got a decent squad from what I'm seeing at the moment. Uh, again, that was a ro very rotated side. Uh, so we actually take the lead. This is our away kit. Uh, ball played across. Nice ball across. How goes to the long shot. Oh my god, the keepers absolutely fluff that. Uh, drops it into the goal. Boosts up the match speed a little bit. Ball played out. Maybe that's a bit too quick, actually. Uh, I don't want it to be too slow, but because I, I normally like the gameplay pretty quickly. That's a really nice goal. Making the space towards the back post. Smashes it into the bottom corner. And this one playing out from the back. I like to see that. Ball played over the top. The defender. Oh my god, the defender misses it. Maiden, oh, that's a great goal from him. Moving on into the next highlight. Um, next highlight. And then, I think, is this their goal? Yeah. Oh, we, we missed a goal. Um, okay, he's... Oh, the keeper saves and it just bounces back. To be honest, I'm not too worried about that. Um, injury for two to three days. Oh, that's a bit annoying. Uh, the next game is against Nuri City AFC. Again, another team. <laughs> no clue who they are. That's the that's the that's the um, kind of good thing about FM. You can you're playing against different teams, which you may not have heard of. Obviously, I know it's preseason, so uh, the top goal scorer odds. We've got no one in our team, which is great to see. Not. Uh, we're going to move over to this again. These are players which I'm not sure uh, they should be signing, like using our money. I don't know if that's using our overall budget, um, but nonetheless, we're going to move on into the next part of the episode another preseason game obviously it's the auto save which is on at the moment uh, so i'll jump into uh the next game and i'll be back uh ready for that game in a second right then guys we're into the next preseason game against nuri city afc now again i think these are quite a lower league team uh in terms of the uh pyramid of the football league now we go into the inbox and we won five nil wow that is a great game we're getting a hat trick for Armand, again I'm just going to call him Armand because I don't know how to say that. Uh, second name unfortunately, Taylor Moore and Simmons getting another goal as well. Let's get into the highlights of the game. A lovely victory, again undefeated in pre-season. Can we carry that on into the league? Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to move on into the highlights of this pre-season game. Again, just keeping up with the goals. We're going to put up the little speed a little bit more. More lovely little header from him again. Uh, I'm pretty sure we scored ahead in one of the previous games. Uh, we're going to move this into the next goal. Bola whips it in. That's a good header. Keeper probably could have done a bit better of that, but we will take it nonetheless. Playing out from the back again, which I'd like to see. Down to the right back. Uh, he whips it in again. Keeper probably should have done better there. Moving on into the next highlight. Markello, the new player, plays it into... Oh, wow. The keeper's messed that up. And again, the defenders probably could have done a bit better there. Anyway, McDonald's over the top. Scannell whips it in. Back post Simmons. Oh, wow. That's a great finish. And that ends up with... Well, that rounds up the highlights for this game. We're going to move on into the next game, which is going to be against Oldham Athletic. Now, I do believe these are in the league below us. 
in League 2 as we are in League 1. Uh, they could potentially be in our uh, league. Um, let's confirm that, the bonuses. And I'm going to move into, obviously, the next game. I'm just going to keep you here with me just to keep up with uh, all of the things that are coming through. Because sometimes there are some things which maybe I could probably just keep with you or show you guys. Uh, again, I'm not, I'm not too sure. I am new to the whole FM videos. I'm not too sure what people keep in their videos. In terms of like emails and notifications and stuff like that um so uh let's move on through here and again not really much that i need i'm gonna just let um change the team up to give the players the fitness they need because obviously as you can see saturday sky bet league one is approaching us um we are but before that we've got oldham athletic in the uh, trans uh, not the transfer. I, I literally looked at the transfer thing and I thought they were talking about the transfer thing. Uh, but anyway, uh, where is um, where is? Oh, there he is. He's up here, Michello. Uh, let's put him in there. Keep him in there. Right there we go. Now we can just move on into the the friendly against Oldham. And I will probably keep. I will probably play the Bristol Rovers game as well, um, just so we get some. Uh, some more games because uh you know we want to kick off the league as quickly as possible because obviously there is a lot of games in the league one season so hopefully we can get as many games as we can throughout the whole um like episode and it, oh my god sorry uh just burp there anyway armand getting another two goals let's go look at the highlights on this where is he playing he's playing up top now is he normally our striker um, because I, I don't know if he is. Yeah, I mean, he's doing a phenomenal job up top. Uh, definitely one which I probably will keep up there, the way he's playing. We've got the ball here. Let me just move that up a little bit. I'll play it. Husband's going to go down the line. Whips it in. Another header for Armand. Nice goal. We're going to move into the next highlight. Scandal. Ball played over the top to Husband again. Ball's going to go out wide. Is another header? Or is that the same highlight? Oh, a penalty was the next goal. Bottom corner. I'd love to see that. And that is going to be the game. Oh, God. We've got to leave a winger to physio. That's not what you want to see. Um, so what we're going to be doing now is going to be playing our first league game against Bristol Rovers. I'm not going to wait all week because, obviously, that's quite a long time until we get to the game. So I'm going to jump over to that game now. And we're going to obviously watch it live and go in depth and see how we get on in that game. Right then guys, here is it, the pre-match press conference for the first game of the league. And anyway, we're going to um, go ahead and do this now. Obviously, there's probably going to be a lot of questions. Um, but obviously, it's always a nice start to get a win and points to the board. So, are you confident in getting off to a good start? We've been working hard. And if the players can carry the focus and determination into the match, we should do well. I'm going to say that. Can you tell us where Jay Spring will be available? I'm not too sure. Um... We'll have to wait and see because he did get injured like a day before uh, this press conference, so I'm not too sure. Um, let's see. After a long, close season, everyone is ready to go. You're excited. It's a great moment. I can't wait to get started. The lads are well prepared and confident of a winning start. I will go over that. Um, Preseason, campaign, are you confident that your team is ready? Preseason was very good. Well, to be fair, it was very good. Um, we, did, we didn't lose the game. Uh, so we're going to continue now. Obviously, we've got another day. Until the game against Bristol Rovers, but like I said, I'm going to just uh, make sure. Uh, I may as well just stick around on the uh, live com for this little bit. Uh, obviously, we've got a fair bit to go until the game. And it should be, I think, after this um, rotation. Oh, not rotation. You know what I mean. Um, let's see. So a lot of under 23s and under 18 players are joining. Now, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I'm pretty sure it's not already good for us in terms of finances. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. So, right now, so fitness test. Obviously, I'm going to have to look at the um, the, squ the squad um, to see. So, obviously, Bola was out injured, unfortunately. He's out for a while. Um, so, obviously, like you, obviously, I'm going to get rid of uh, these extra subs because we don't need them. Uh, as you can see, so, obviously, on the... Right, let's make sure we've got our players in the right position. So, Duffmont, so Spearing, uh, McDonald, a DM there. 
Uh, I need to put a centre back on the bench. That would be quite useful. And we okay, we do have one there. Uh, we put him in there. Put the centre back there. For spearing, we've got two centre mids, a striker slash a right attacking mid, um, which is good to see. This guy's not in yet, unfortunately. Uh, have we got any attacking mids? Now, the thing is, a fitness test. Again, I don't know if he's going to be able to play. How old is he? 24 years of age. Now, do I want to put him on the bench? Probably not. Um, I might. Attacking right rear, to be fair. Uh, Delfonso can play there as well. He's, he's got a better star rating, so I'm going to put him there. The overall team fitness is looking okay. I don't think there's anyone else we need to change. Uh, was he playing on that wing? I can't remember. Yeah, see, Scannell is much better on that wing. Uh, it's just the fact that we don't really have anyone that can play on the left. Uh, where? Oh, actually, you can play on the left, but he's not fully fit, is he? Mm, that is that is the problem with uh, having like a not a, not a great squad uh, in terms of uh, like fitness and stuff. Uh, what about if I put you there again? That's not really what you want to see. Uh, let me just let me pull up the under 23 squad and see if there's anyone that can play in this position. Again, there's not, see this is the guy we're missing. He's injured at the moment. Um, so I'm right, we're gonna have to go with that for now. A fitness test. So okay, so it should be fine to play with him. Uh, everyone else seems fine. We're gonna go submit the team there. Uh, oh, we have to have a player trained by the club. Oh, that's that's not what you want to see. Oh, so I need to have someone on the bench. I'm guessing that's trained by the club. Um, Delfonso, does he work? No. Okay, so it's it's um, which one is it? It's the HC. Oh my god, I I hate when this happens. This happens to me all the time. Um, let's see if we've got anyone. Homegrown by the club. Let's see this guy. An 18 year old. You know what? I'm going to put him on the bench. Attacking right mid. Let's just take off Delfonso for now. There we go. Okay, so now we can actually get into the game, guys. Sorry that took a while. Um, normally, the squad is normally ready, but unfortunately, we weren't there. So I need to make sure I've got the right settings for the game. So obviously, we're going to do the team talk. I'm going to do a passionate. Uh, I'm going to say go out there and impress me now before the game I want to do that and uh, select all I have faith in you normally this one is normally the best one I use uh, before we press play I need to make sure I change the setting so um, what I'd normally play on is this sideline one and then zoom all the way out just so you see the whole pitch um, match speed between highlights you want to have it on fast I guess medium I want to have it slightly faster uh, and then have that. Notifications, yeah, that's fine. Extend highlights, we want to have key highlights on. And then obviously the replay, sideline again. Um, and then we should be good to go. So the first game of the season is now. Let's see how we get on. Hopefully we can start off with a win. Now, obviously, I don't know what Bristol areas are like. Um, this is obviously... This isn't a key highlight, this is just the starting one. Um, so let's see, I do like the layout of uh, this uh, skin as well in in, in the in-game um, position. So we start off with the first 10 minutes, we've got a bit of uh, ball possession here. Normally I won't click on those make changes uh, unless I feel like they're they're good enough to actually like change. So again, we're keeping a lot of the ball. I'm going to wait a bit to make a shout. Uh, I will probably say like a get creative to start with for the first 20 minutes or so. Obviously keeping the ball here, which is very good to see. A couple of shots, only one on target for now. 24th minute now. Again, maybe I'll have the thing on too quick. I'm not too sure. Again, we're keeping a lot of the ball. I'm going to say demand more here. And hopefully that can push them up the pitch and hopefully we can get a goal. Like I said, I, I do like having a lot of possession. Uh, unfortunately though, we're, we're having a lot of shots, but they're not really turning into anything special in terms of on target um no highlight in the first half by the looks of things which um normally doesn't really happen for me normally i do have a few highlights but we're gonna go into the half time break at nil nil 
I'm going to say passionate we've been the better team here because I think we have. Uh, we just need to take our chances or create more chances uh, in the second half. So I'm going to say a get creative to start things off in this half. Now, obviously, I need to look at the player ratings. Obviously, Scannell's not having a great game. Uh, before I make any subs, I'm going to keep the ball rolling. I'm going to make a sub in the 60th, I think. Uh, probably going to take off Scannell, who's having a really bad game. Uh, anyone that can play on the right? Uh, yeah, this the, wow, the 18-year-old um, that comes on. So I'm going to take him. I'm going to bring him on. I'm going to actually demand more. I might go on a, a positive as well, just to boost the team a bit. I might bring uh, Maiden on as well because uh, our man Ahmed is not playing well up top. Even though he is creeping back up the um, up the chart there. I am probably going to make the sub now. Yeah, I'm going to make the sub now. Gary Maiden's going to come on up top. And then again, we're going to demand more again because like, we're not really... Um, I haven't had a highlight this game and I'm going to go on to attacking now towards the end of the game. 6.2 on the left mid. Oh, that's not good. Um... Who can we bring? We can't really bring anyone on. Uh, actually, you know what we can do? We can bring on husband down there. And then bring on our defender who will have to just go at left back for now. Um, can we get a get creative in here? I've just used the um, previous one. Are we really going to have no highlights for the first game of the season? A 0-0 draw against Bristol at home. I don't know if we're even going to get a highlight here really look at the stats as well we're dominating in terms of shots um if we just um pause that quickly let's um let's shoot on site for the last bit play for set pieces uh let's make it a bit more direct as well i'm not too sure let's let's go higher as well actually i don't want to go too high i don't want to ruin it um if we do that i don't think we're going to get another chance 94th minute is approaching and that's full time, no highlights in the first game of the season. Now, I don't know whether that's a good performance. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say I'm far from pleased from what we've just seen because nil nil, we've absolutely battered them in terms of the stats, but we couldn't produce anything in front of goal. Um, we're gonna go to the press conference after the game. Um, all squaring your first competitive match was that a missed opportunity to start with when uh yes we were definitely the better team uh he'll have better days uh because he didn't do much did he He had like a 6.2 rating husband picked up player of the match um yeah i think he, he did play well he had a, like a seven match rating and above for most of that game um so what we're going to do now we're going to go into the next game against south end uh i'm going to obviously simulate to that and i'll catch you guys once we're back there uh so i will be right back Alright then guys, we're moving on into the last game in the episode. Um, obviously, I'm not too sure how long this episode is actually going to be. Uh, it's been a pretty long one, I think. So what we're going to do, we're going to end off with this last game against... Um, oh, let me go back to that. Uh, against Southend. So let's just see. Obviously, I need to keep this guy in because of the home grown by club. Uh, obviously, we do have... Where is he? There was. I'm pretty sure there was someone down here that had that. Maybe not. Anyway, um, so the team is going to be that, I think, for now. We've got Spearing there as well on the bench. Uh, is, is there anyone that's come back from injuries? I know there was a couple, but I don't think they're going to be ready to actually play. Yeah, this guy, uh, Kai Kai, is not ready. Um, so I won't be using him, unfortunately. I'm going to keep the team the same. I'm going to submit that, and let's see how we get on. Um, obviously, I would love to bring in some more players, but we just financially don't have enough money or resources to do that. Uh, I was looking at some loan players again, but we did, we just don't have the money. Um, passionate, uh, I want them to go and impress me. And I also will have a, uh, a passionate I have faith in you again. Now, obviously, the last game, didn't really we didn't even have a highlight. So, um, yeah, not too sure about that. Um, anyway, we're playing South Hands. Uh, I think they sat like 23rd or 22nd in the league right now. Um, so we're starting off things again. A nice ball um, possession from the Blackpool team. 10 minutes in, I'm going to wait. Oh, we actually got our first highlight of the series. Let's go. And of course, it's not a highlight for me. So White on the ball now, playing it back to the keeper. Now, I don't mind this. It's keeping the ball in their half. 
making sure we're pressing a little bit now obviously i want to move my cursor out of the way um again a bit of a slow build up now i don't know if this is like the best um speed normally i play it on a lot quicker but i know people and people that are probably watching this video probably have it on these basic kind of um speeds let me know in the comments down below if you want me to speed it up or not uh personally I'd, i kind of don't really like this kind of speed oh I skip that's a penalty oh no james Hud's husband has given away a penalty he's got a yellow card as well corner a uh, corner sorry penalty the south end and it's oh i thought he was gonna save it he went the right way mark mcgillan with the goal first goal of the season for him is a penalty in the bottom left hand corner uh skip the replay we don't want to watch the replays of uh, the um opposing team's goals right get creative we have to go on positive straight away unfortunately uh, 20 minutes in we're one nil down not what you want to see uh kind of not keeping the ball well either um in this game there we go it's a bit better uh, i'm going to demand more from the team i want to see more from you guys in this game i want to try and grab a goal before half time to, to level the score but i don't know if that's going to happen again not much happening in terms of the shots on target we have plenty of shots but we don't actually do anything with them i'm going to demand more one more time before half time just to see if we can get a highlight again we haven't even had a highlight for ourselves we've had one highlight ah oh, okay i spoke too soon i spoke too soon ball whipped in robinson with the header and that's wide blackpool have a goal kick now we're probably going to get to half time here with us being 1-0 down, which we are going to. Not a great start. I'm going to go aggressive here and show me something else in the second half. Markello looks stressed. Uh, you probably do have things to be stressed about. Scannell is not having a good game, is he? On a 6.2. Probably going to hook him straight away, um, which I am going to do now already that's just worrying signs we're gonna have to go i'm gonna have to go on attacking here aren't i get creative now we got a chart oh they've got the ball don't they okay here we go second highlight or third highlight of the game let's see if we can keep the ball oh not keep the ball get the ball back sorry oh no what are we doing there in defense oh they've put it wide Oh my god, the defenders and the keeper there just didn't really react to the ball being put back into like, the, the box, I guess. Um, we're going to have to make another sub here. Again, not really having many chance. I don't know what's happening here, guys. I'm going to bring on... Who am I going to bring on? I'm going to bring on Spearing in the middle of the park. Just to give us uh, some fresh legs in the middle of the park. The Mar Moore as well. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Team instructions. I'm going to have shoot on sight on. Just to see if that can help. Uh, again, closing in towards the end of the game. I'm going to take this striker off as well. He's on a yellow card. I don't want him to get sent off. Um, so I'm going to swap him with Gary Maiden. 75th minute. Oh my god, this is not good. Why am I very attacking? I did not mean to do that. That's not what I wanted. Um, team instructions. You know what? Uh... What we're we gonna do? Work ball into box. Uh, not working, is it? They've got a free kick on the edge of the box. Levitt is gonna take it. Wall whipped in. Robinson at the back post again. He's missed it. 80th minute now. I'm probably gonna have to actually go on very. Oh, actually, I'm gonna wait until this um, highlight is done. More now. Playing out from the back, which is what, what I want to see. Inside, Ronan. Spearing on the ball, fresh on the pitch. Out to. Uh, Kiese or Cisse oh not Cisse it's, it's a weird name uh, for me to pronounce anyway that's not what you want to see uh, that's the whole um, why is this changing I guess it's changing when I'm going on very attacking oh god this is not the start we wanted in the league oh right we got a chance to salvage a point here 87th minute ball played back to Thorn Isle Ball whipped in. Maiden hits the crossbar. And it's a goal kick to South End. Not what you want to see. Oh, we could have gotten a point there at the end. Right at the end. Four out of minutes. Into the second. Into the third. And that's going to be game over. Oh, unfortunately, we didn't 
managed we didn't manage to get anything out of that game that was not a good game at all oh boys what have we just witnessed we're down in 15th right now not the start we wanted we're gonna go into the press conference um naturally disappointed uh who was this guy he was not i didn't think he i, I don't think he had a great game to be honest um so what are they saying refuse to substitute him oh okay I didn't really actually I literally didn't have a left winger on the bench which I could have brought on uh, I don't want to talk about their players and that is going to be the end to the episode unfortunately we'd started off pretty well in pre-season we've come into the league and we've absolutely um absolutely bowled it in terms of uh the start anyway guys this is gonna be the end of the episode if you have made it this far to the uh in the episode I do appreciate you make sure to leave a like comment your thoughts on the video any tips that could help me uh in literally anything in terms of the game the in-game stuff out of the game transfers anything like that let me know down in the comments uh good or bad i'd really appreciate that the feedback would be uh very helpful for me for the future episodes make sure to subscribe if you're new around here and make sure to hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next episode peace